here. This is episode 263 of the End Aid series that I began December 1st, World AIDS Day 2021. It's been 263 days since then, and um, it's Southern Time Productions Funding Drive Day 229 since I started that January 3rd this year. Sorry, it feels like a bug is biting me. And it is uh, August 20th, 2022 today. Um, so, uh, yeah, finally had inspiration for an actual topic discussion I want to um, free, th free flow, um, spontaneously, um, just, um, what's it called? Flow of consciousness, free flow of consciousness. Um, forget the term. <laughs> oh, my butt is sore too. I was sitting on this log. Um, yeah, so today's theme is uh, thriving biosphere or metaverse. So I think it's pr pretty um, easy to glean which side of the which uh, world I want to live in. And, you know, I love coming down this. So I haven't been down here for weeks now um, in the park, just a block away from my house, and it's it's just so enlivening. So it just fills you with life and joy, and revives you, rejuvenates you. Even though I'm not, not looking as good as I did in the bathroom mirror this morning. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, thriving biosphere. That's what our world has the potential to be. Um, and we can live alongside with that. All 8 billion and probably even more of us. If we um, are just mindful of how we live with it. And allow it. It thrives if you allow it to thrive. Right? If you have the right conditions our world is a beautiful world it potentially be a beautiful world for everyone everyone who could have abundance more than enough to um and our, the nature can be so freedom right and uh people just living on their own plot of land growing their own food surrounded by force like this it's so healing everyone if you've been born in the city go out to nature it will feel fear feel weird at first. I've heard from first-hand accounts of people who've only known the city their whole life. They go out to nature and they feel, this is strange. This is like, they gives them the heebie-jeebies. It's weird to them. But um, it's it's what we're, we're meant to be in. You know, like I I guess, I I prefer, you know, some souls want to live in the metaverse. And what does um, verse mean? What does verse mean? I, I looked up what meta meant. <laughs> so, but what does verse means? Somebody can let me know what verse means. Um, it's just a verse, like a little story, um, and uh, and like universe means one story. I think I think verse means a little story. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. What does meta mean? So we have all. If you've been on Facebook, you've probably seen the meme of that. Meta means dead in Hebrew. Someone, Mark Zuckerberg, must have been sleeping in Hebrew class. <laughs> so it means a dead story. <laughs> and um, But what is meta? In dictionary.com says its origin is Greek. It means with, with, with something. And uh, it's a prefix. And um, um, it means with in English. So meta. Um, but other meanings have been... A, uh, developed with it over time. Most recent one is used in um, film uh, quite a lot um, in the film industry. Um, that was so meta. And what do they mean by that? It means when people are in a story or conversing about themselves, they're the subject matter. So it's like, yeah, it's very narcissistic in a way. So it's either death or narcissistic or with, with something, with story. So it's either a narcissistic with story that's really a dead story, <laughs> you know. And you know you don't need human bodies for this to be in this verse. You, if your consciousness can be transferred, your sense of I-ness, your sense of your identity as a unique sentient being, if that can be uh, uh, transferred to um, computer chip into um virtual world you know then that would be life and you can you know 
have an illusory world all you want, but would it be any real? And sure, you might live forever, sort of, but would it really be living, or would it be one big um, prison cell for eternity? You know, that's nothing really real. It's just you're, you, you know, basically you're you're like a a lump of metal. You know, that's a circuit board is like plastics and metals. So it's like. Um, and metamaterials. <laughs> so like different types of uh, materials, combination of materials. Um, so you like, but are you living flesh? You know, that's what makes this, you know, this, this was a few months ago, this was all dead. Oh, this was all dead. And it was, I still like walking out here because it's refreshing air, but now it's just like so alive and you feed off that energy from the forest. And, um, yeah, I know. I'm getting old. I can see it. The wrinkles in my head, my face, you know, my hair is thinning out. My hair has always been a little thin, but you can really see it now. You know, so it's like, you know, I'm going to die in maybe a few decades, right? That's it. Maybe I can extend it a little longer, but, but um, you know, this life is finite. Even if you live up to a thousand years old, life is finite. Like, things come and they go. And perhaps our souls or our, our the essence of our I-ness which we happen to does reincarnate but we happen to, most of us happen to forget who we were in past lifetimes so that we can have an, a new experience else if we remembered our old lives we'd be living in the past and we wouldn't, wouldn't move forward we wouldn't progress so um, you know that's essence of who we are maybe is eternal right and uh, and is growing over time so could you ever really it'd be a trap i think the metaverse would be a trap uh, you would it um negate that process of reincarnation and um you know you'd be you spend after you know like like i don't know what time experience of time in a virtual world would be like one minute could be like you, you could experience as mu much uh, in one minute of our world experience and in, in, to you in the, in the virtual world that might seem like a hundred years I don't know so it's like and after that one minute you might be like equivalent to a hundred years in, in our world the biosphere um, you, uh, you you'd be figuring out the rest of your minutes that you're in there you know trying to figure out how can I delete myself how can I kill myself so I can get out of here <laughs> I don't know Maybe it's not a world I want to live in. I I want to protect this biosphere, but do it smartly, and that means you know you know carbon neutral is a stupid concept. We are carbon. Every life form is carbon. So it's like that's not you know. And anyways, the whole climate change. The climate always changes. That's it's a sun stupid. <laughs> Sorry, it's a sun stupid. It goes in cycles. We're actually heading into a mini ice age now. Look it up. Do real research before they delete the internet, which they're already doing. It's already been done to a large extent. But talk to people who know, like we all used to do in person, over the phone or over telegram or signal, <laughs> so they can't spy on you. What a horrible Orwellian world we're entering, we've entered into. We've got to stop it before it progresses any further. Um, thriving biosphere or metaverse.